is because I wrote a book about blue furry giants. Lexi decided that when it came to dancing, she was done. Every time she was sure her stage fright was gone, along came another recital and bam! Ice pop, can you guys be ice pops? Go. Okay, now let's be clear about one thing. Giants, yeah, they don't dance. But Lexi turned out to be a good teacher. She showed the giants how stumbles were steps, stomps were taps, and stretches could turn into cool disco moves. She even demonstrated how scratches could morph into jazz hands. You guys want to do some jazz hands with me? Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, you'll go like this. Before long, they were ready. It was time to show the world. It was time for a giant dance recital. Not a single giant move, not one. They just stood there. Lexi didn't think, she danced. She leapt onto the stage and did can-cans and pirouettes, a break dancing spin, electric slide, and a shuffle off to Buffalo. The music picked up. The giants got bouncier and bouncier. Gully's toes pounded the stage until it shook. Mina moved so fast it was like watching fur fly and the audience laughed and cheered and threw bouquets of flowers. What a show, what a performance, what a giant dance party. I'm gonna read my new book, it just came out. It's called Electro for Leo. Leo is the mailman of a little old town. Leo has a pleasant life, except for one thing. With all the mail that he delivers every day, he has never received a letter himself. One morning, Leo is about to open the mailbox when he hears, Cheap! You must have lost touch with your flock. And you're too little to fly south by yourself. I guess I'll take you home with me. Time goes by. What do they do here? They walk around the woods, they pick up a mushroom. Leo and Chip are now a little family. They're cooking together. Chip is a big little bird now, and he's ready to go. But, ho but what he was hoping for has finally arrived. What happened here? Little Elliot was an elephant. So, little Elliot loved living in a big city, but sometimes it was hard being so small in such a huge place. Even life at home was a bit challenging. Ah, uh, Elliot's so small, he needs a broom to get his ice cream out of the freezer. One day, Elliot tried to buy a cupcake, but no one noticed him. How come no one noticed Elliot? Because he's so small. He's so small. He saw someone even littler than himself who had an even bigger problem. I can help, said Elliot. He's helping the mouse get some pizza there. Elliot felt like the tallest elephant in the world. The next day, Mouse came with Elliot to the bakery. Hmm. Elliot finally got his cupcake. Yay! And something even better. The mouse! The mouse! A new friend! His new friend Mouse. What if there's a little dog who just wants to play? He just wants to play, but he's not really ready, so he ends up wrecking things. And then I thought, what if he wrecks something really famous? Not just, you can see the three billy goats gruff, and they're right across the bridge. What's underneath the bridge? The troll. But, troll, but who's that? That's, that's not the troll. Who could that be? Oh no, it's the dog. And the dog is barking at the goats. That's the dog. Where'd that dog come from? Ivan. Dog here. Naughty dog, you're ruining the story. <laughs> well, one pig buys bricks, one pig buys sticks, and one pig buys straw. Because behind the tree is hiding the big... Wait, who's running down the road there? Who could that be? Dog! No, there's no dog in the store. Oh, there is a dog. Oh, it's <laughs> Ivan again. Oh, look at him. Look how cute he is. You know what? I think maybe I'll give him his own story. I, I give up. <laughs> Oh, where's he going? <laughs> Let's see, he's going to sleep. I guess he's very tired from all that running around.